Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and today I am reviewing the Dan Post Thin Red Line Boots Honoring Fallen Firefighters. Let's get into it. Okay, so I got the Dan Post Thin Red Line Boots from yeehawcowboy.com. It's a great website, by the way. Lots of great stuff on there. And what originally drew my eye to this boot was the fact that it's honoring fallen firefighters in the United States of America. And right when I saw this model, I was taken back to 2013 when Prescott, Arizona lost 19 firefighters, part of the Granite Hot Shots Granite Mountain Hotshots team from the Yarnell Hill Fire. And wow, was it a loss to Arizona and to the nation. Those, those folks were heroes. And the, the men and women in their families, the support that they had was incredible. There are several different accounts of the story of the Granite Mountain Hotshots team and the Yarnell Hill Fire in audiobooks and books, and I would definitely recommend you check those out because the story behind those heroes are incredible. And that's what originally drew me to this boot. As you can see right off the bat, on the tops, on the shafts here, we have the, the red line going through a map of the United States and the flag here. And then on the back of the tops, we have USA with the thin red line running through all of it. These are leather boots, leather tops too, and leather lined. There is a rubber sole here with, I like this sole and how you have the tread in the middle here. We have a square toe and a double stitched welt. You know, a lot of you guys, <laughs> after some of the other videos that I did, you might think that I dislike the square toe because I found one square toe that I wasn't particularly fond of. But I'm not, I don't dislike square toes. It's, there are many things that go into uh, a boot looking ugly. And some of the colors and textures and toes, when not combined right, just don't go with my taste. I'm fine with any, any toe. Uh, as long as everything looks good to me. And this black square toe is amazing with the double stitch welt. It's built very strong. It is made in Mexico. And man, this is a really good looking boot. Let's get the other one out and try it on. Actually, let's, let's, uh, let's do the insole first. Yeah, I wanna look at this insole because it's, uh, it's different. It's got a gel insole and they call it the Soft Strike Comfort System. And they have a, a picture of it on the inside of the box. So it's, uh, it's sort of a big deal, I guess. So let's take, let's take it out and uh, give, it, give it a good look over here real quick. We got some perforations for breathability. As you can see on the bottom, this is gel in the heel here, I believe. Uh, let's see here, they have a key on the inside. So they are pointing out that this is the rebounding gel pillow at heel and the four part up here. Also, we have air cooling channels here and antifungal and antimicrobial properties is what it's saying. So, and it's also got a uh, hinged insole for flexibility, which is what I'm guessing this is here. It's, uh, it looks pretty comfortable. Uh, shock absorbing gel, it says. And this is what they call the soft strike insole. Every purchase of one of these boots, it proceeds goes to the Fallen Firefighters Scholarship Fund. So that's something really cool about this boot as well. Let's try it on and see how it feels. I am really excited about this boot. It looks really tough and I want to see what it's like on my foot. Let's do it already. 
Okay, so other things to notice about this is that we have a one inch heel here, uh, square toe again, double stitch welt. The shaft is 11 inches high. It is a roper style boot. Okay, so I'm noticing that they are a little wide. Now, my toe feels like it's in the right area. My, the, the toe is right around here, okay? And the widest part of my foot is at the widest part of the boot here, but they just are a little wide, right? And I was kind of thinking that that would be the case because these boots do run a little wide online too. They come in two width sizes, D and EW. I've also seen on other websites that they call it 2.5 E. So it's more than just double E, it's about two and a half double E. And I think this is because this boot is meant to work, okay? This boot is meant for folks who wear thick work socks or wool socks. And that's why you have that extra little bit of width, right? Very comfortable. It is a little heavy back towards the heel. That is a, it is a heavy heel, but it is a very comfortable boot nonetheless. It feels very durable. And I like the look of it too. It looks sturdy, it feels sturdy. It feels like it could support pretty much anything that I wanted to do. My one concern is if I was doing a lot of work outside, it may not have the tread to really deal with mud that well. But still, it's very comfortable. Yeah. I could see myself working all day in this. And it looks great too. Looking down at this monitor here on the camera, I really like that chunky heel on this boot. You know, I was kind of wondering what that would look like, but it, it comes out pretty far from behind my jean line from what I'm used to. And I don't mind that look at all on this boot. Like I said, Sometimes it's the colors and the design and the way that a boot is put together that makes a boot look good. It's not all square toes look bad. It's not all ropers look bad. It's the leather that's used and the color and the overall design of the boot. And this is a nicely designed boot. However, like I said, the balance is way back in the heel. It is much heavier in the heel than on a lot of my other boots. So I'm going to keep these boots. Uh, YeehawCowboy.com was great to work with. If you guys get the chance to uh, get some boots from Jose, uh, he's, he's a great guy to work with. He's got an awesome business. Yeehaw Cowboy is doing great things online for the cowboy boot industry. So I am really thankful to have these from him. Now, like I said, this is a tough boot. We have the double stitched welt. It is super structural in the back, okay? Uh, so much so that it's a little bit heavier. It's wider so that you can wear thicker socks uh, and work in these boots. These are working boots to me, okay? And knowing that now and seeing that how they are catering to a working type of person with these boots. I like the tread on these boots. I like the rubber sole, but I'm just concerned that it may not have enough tread for some of the muddy conditions that you may run into. So if you work in muddy conditions and you're looking to get a new work boot, I, I don't see this. You're going to be slipping all over the place. That's not enough tread right here to keep you upright. I like the design. I like how 
structural this boot feels. It feels very tough. The one thing I don't like about it is that it's made in Mexico, okay? I am looking at this boot and it's, it makes me feel really good about supporting firefighters, fallen firefighters. Uh, I mean, these folks are heroes, no doubt about it. You can't argue the fact. And to have something branded with USA and supporting USA fallen firefighters, I would have liked it to be made in the USA, but it's just, it's not a deal breaker for me. So basically, if it helps Dan Post lower their margins so that they're able to donate more to these fallen firefighter scholarships, I'm okay with it. Um, but that is a slight drawback for me with this boot. Still, I, I like this boot. I, th I think it's really great. Now, I just wanna get out there and just walk around in it. So I'm gonna go do that for a little bit. I'm gonna get some more footage. And then if anything else pops up, I'll talk about it, just sort of wrap up my final thoughts about this boot and we'll go from there. But I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this Dan Post Thin Red Line boot and a huge thanks to Jose over at yeehawcowboy.com. If you guys are interested in getting these, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm also making a video for Yeehaw Cowboy's YouTube channel. So right after this video, why don't you go over and check out the video for that one because it is epic. All right, I'm gonna go wear these around now. After wearing these Dan Post Thin Red Line boots around for a little bit, I am super impressed. I mean, they're very comfortable. That insole that they have is great. I don't think I mentioned it before, but I have size 11, so the sizes of Dan Post are similar to that of Justin's, if that helps you out if you are looking to get this boot. Again, the balance issue where the heel has a lot of weight on it isn't that big of a deal now that I'm walking around and just sort of messing around with the camera and stuff. I'm having, I'm having a good time in these boots and they're really comfortable. So, you know, I'm happy with this. I wanna know what you think though. So let me know what you think of the Dan Post Thin Red Line boots or any of the others in the Patriot series. I think they're pretty much all the same except they just changed the colors of the lines and stuff. So definitely put that in the comments subscribe if you haven't yet and hit that like button because that helps me out a lot let me know what you think thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time peace i walk a thin red line with an easy mind remembering prescott heroes all oh, that thin red line is such a comfortable find takes me anywhere i want to go See you guys next time. Peace.